Charterman, Charterman, Rhyme, Charterman, 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 Rhyme, Reading comics, Twitter, Hell of Six, Hell of Wackiness, Take a Bad Hits, Take a Bad Hits, Charterman, Subscribe, Machine for Domains. Mother! Hey, what's up, you guys? Charterman's Prime here doing another Jurassic Park figure review on the Jurassic Park Dino Showdown. Pachyo Rhinosaurus, only at Toys R Us, the bike is back. Man, I love dinosaurs. I've just always been a fan of dinosaurs for as long as I can remember. And damn it, this figure is cool. I reviewed the Allosaurus figure, and that was a pretty damn cool figure. Even though I just borrowed it from Incline Designs, I don't have it. But I um, kind of wish I did grab it. And this guy right here, now that I only have this one all by himself, I assumed I would find an Allosaurus, but I have not been able to find one. The sculpt of this guy is very nice. And he does come with a Gunner Gordon, which is, I guess, a G.I. Joe figure. Uh, we can talk about this guy really quick right here. Now this guy is a 3 3 quarter inch scale figure, and man, he's got a serious facial expression. Look at that. I mean, shoot. You know, if I was shooting at dinosaurs or riding dinosaurs, whatever you're supposed to do with them, I kind of have that look on my face too, but I like the paint detail in his hair, it looks pretty good. He's got this orange earring just on the left side right there, and he's got some nice silver paint on his zipper. I like the silver shoulder straps over here. He comes with this giant rail gun thingy, I don't know what they're called, but it has this stand that you can clip at the end of it right here, and there that is. And you can also attach uh, the bullets right here, so you can just go ahead and plug that into the side. I find it very hard to pose him laying down on the ground with it, it just kind of looks silly. But you know, this isn't a bad figure. His head moves side to side, he has this collar right here and it's not really hindered at all. He has this hole for, I don't know what you would put into his back. But his shoulders move outward, they move forward, he has an elbow swivel and it bends at 90 degrees. He has wrists that rotate side to side, he has a diaphragm joint that turns side to side and it moves forward and back just a little bit. He has legs that have these silver pins in here, which is kind of a trip, but they move all the way outward, they move forward, double jointed knees, and he has a rotation at the ankle, and it moves down and it moves up. So, you know, not a bad amount of articulation, not great, but not terrible. The sculpted detail in this is just amazing. Now, again, I'm not a big fan of the paint scheme of these. I feel like it's just too vibrant for my liking. I like how they painted the eye in there, and the sculpt is just awesome. His horns came out really cool. This bridge over his eyes is very, very nice. Very cool. You can see his beak pretty well. It has an articulated jaw, so you can even see his little tongue in there. Nice dinosaur toes. Nice dinosaur toes. Nice dinosaur tail. Kind of a short tail. They have this nice subtle wash going in here. It's kind of tricky to see, but it's there. Just the scaling of this overall. It's just very textured and looks really cool. I like how the paint came out down here, to be honest with you. It's got this spine thing going on. Very nice. And then he does have battle damage, unlike the old school Jurassic Park figures, and he has his JP right here. This is a harder plastic instead of the soft rubbery plastic they used to have, and you just peel that off, and ooh, he's got dino damage. That looks so dope. I love the paint detail in that. That looks very, very cool. But, you know, I like to have him, you know, shown off like that, so that that's covered up. And he does have his function right here where you pull the leg, and it moves up and down. So, yeah, you got head-banging action. Punk rocker, yeah! One thing that is kind of a bummer, though, is because of this action, you can't really pose him with his head staying up like that. I guess if you can get the foot to stay... Nah, it just won't stay up like that. Oh, that's what she said. The head can move up and down a little bit, so you have some movement there. He kind of digs into the floor, though, the more you move it down, but I guess you can have him posed like that, and it looks okay. It rotates side to side, and you can tilt it at an angle like this, so that's pretty cool. And his legs all move forward. Uh, they don't move outward at all, but you can move them forward, and this leg moves forward, and you can move this leg only back, yeah, so no real articulation on this leg right here. It looks like the tail should twist side to side, but no. You can't really do that. So from the tip of the horn to the tip of his tail, this guy is at about, uh, I want to say, ten and a half inches long. 
and he's only about four, just a little over four inches tall. So I think he works great uh, for Marvel Universe collectors out there. If you want to have a Savage Land set, you know, you could have, you know, your Wolverine riding dinosaur and everything. Doesn't work too well for the Marvel Legends scale, though. I think that's just a little too big. So yeah, Marvel Universe collectors could definitely use this for a Savage Land display. Pretty cool figure, man. Um, like I said, I love dinosaurs, and you know, shoot, just seeing this guy is just really, really cool. I would like to have a set of all the new Jurassic Park figures, but with, I don't know, just different paint schemes. You know, I've gotten to little debates with people with how they would have looked. My guess is that they would have more of a skin tone resembling birds because they're supposed to be related to birds somehow. So anyway, that's my review, guys. I hope you dig it, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As wicked as it may seem, as wicked as anything could be.